Hi everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith and today I'm going to share with you a brand new Bible journaling process video. This is the last of my revival camp entries and today I'm going to be focusing on Tamara's devotional praise. I'm in Psalm 103 verses 1 to 2 and then a few after that. And today I plan on using these acetate butterflies. I really wanted to use them in my last process video but couldn't make it work so I for sure want to incorporate them today. I was really inspired by the beautiful color pairing on the badge for this session and so I looked to my paint stash and pulled out some similar colors and plan to use those on my page today. So I've got a scrap of white card stock here, I've got the paint card that was included with the kits trail mix, and I'm going to take these different colors of teals and greens and pinks and put them on the edge of the paint card like so. And I'm going to put them down all at the same time and try something. I'm using a scrap piece of cardstock here because I don't really want to see if it works out in the margins of my brand new illustrating Bible. In fact, one of the beginner tips that I frequently tell people is if you're nervous about messing up, just try it on a scrap piece of paper and see how it works out. So all I did was apply some pressure to the card and sweep it or drag it down my page and then I thought it would be fun to do kind of like an arch or a rainbow almost. And because I had such a good result with that and I loved how the colors look together, I loaded up the card with more paint and I'm going to do it in the margin of the illustrating Bible here. So I've got my Bible mat behind my page and I am <laughs> taking a deep breath here and I'm going to orient the Bible in a way that is easy for me to drag the card from left to right. And I wanted it to be kind of like an arch going off of the page. So it's a little bit different than on the scrap piece of cardstock, but the, these colors together are so beautiful and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. So you'll see that the colors of butterflies I use also um, are like those blue and green colors because that's really the scheme I wanted to focus on today. Now this is a printable set from Jessica Robin. It's available in the Print and Pray set. It's a, maybe a year and a half old and it's called All the Praise Hands or something like that. I'll have it linked in the video description below, but I printed this set out again on clear sticker paper and wanted to use this sentiment, Praise the Lord. In Tamara's devotional, which is amazing by the way, she talks about praising God and ends up telling us that there are actually seven different kinds of worship mentioned in the Bible. Seven, seven different Hebrew words for the same idea, for praising God. And so I'm going to focus on the first one that she mentions today. It resonated with me the most where I'm at right now, and that's the word Barak. That's mentioned here in Psalm 103 a few times. So just like in past revival camp process videos, I'm going to use the layered badge stamps to note which session I'm working on today. And then once I have everything kind of cut out and ready to go, I'm going to figure out where I want it and then off camera I'll go ahead and adhere it down to my page. Now that everything is stuck down except for my badge, I'm going to go back to the scrap piece of paper and this turned out just so beautifully. I thought it would be fun to use my tab punch and punch some different pieces and use that for my tab for today's entry. It's a fun way to bring some extra color to the top of my page. So I'm going to layer the badge stamp or die cut now on top of a few of them and see which I like best. And I think this is the winner, the one that kind of has a little bit of white space off to the left. And so I'm simply going to use the Illustrated Faith Tape Runner to get these guys down on the top of my page. I've got some washi tape on a ring here and I want to bring in some black and white washi. So I'm going to use this black crisscross washi from Illustrated Faith. I'm almost done with this roll of washi tape. How exciting. I've got another waiting in the wings um, because I love using it so much. Have you guys ever exhausted an entire roll of washi tape? So since I tore such a large piece, I'm going to put it in two more places on the page, down at the bottom and then to the right of this rainbow 
trimming off uh, the little bit that's hanging over the edge. Then, speaking of washi tape, I'm going to use the Illustrated Faith Highlighter Washi um, and use this bright pink color to draw that color over to the left. I'm going to use that, um, going to use that to highlight the verses that I'm journaling about today. Then I went to the die cut pieces that are included with the kit and really wanted to bring in some more of this darker green. So I'm going to use these fun stars. I'm going to use one up at the top next to my tab in a little cluster up there and then I'll end up bringing the larger one down to the bottom. I thought about this phrase be still because it's so perfect for what I want to talk about today but couldn't just visually make it work in a way that I liked. So we'll save that one for later. So next I'm going to do something I normally save until the end and that's date stamp my entry. And that's because I want to have, I want to make sure I have enough room um, for journaling and all that kind of stuff. So I'm pulling out some wooden alphabet stamps here and I want to stamp out the word transfixed. I'm starting with the last letter and then working backwards because I want to make sure that I don't run out of room. So I'm stamping each individual letter kind of cleaning the excess ink off of the edge of the stamp with my fingers and then underneath that I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the date stamp below that. Then I'm going to go back to the die cut sheet here and pull out this larger green star and then use my tape runner to get it down. So some super smart Bible people say that this word Barak, which means to kneel before God, to bless and adore him, recognizing our position in relation to him, um, actually means to be transfixed by him, to be bowing down before the king, but with our eyes fixed on him. And I really, I thought that was really interesting and really wanted to think about that for today's entry. What would it look like for me to raise my gaze from my circumstances and even myself to him seated on his throne? Um, because remember, and I have to frequently remind myself of this, that he is in control of all of those circumstances. So instead of looking to me and my limitedness, um, I instead want to look to the limitless king. So I've got a lot of white space on this page and I'm going to go in with some black watercolor paint and just splatter some watercolor around. Decided it may be a good idea to put my Bible mat underneath there to protect the rest of the Bible, the Bible pages underneath it. And this isn't my normal or my regular splatter brush so I'm not really getting the look that I want. I'm kind of getting paint everywhere so I ended up digging out this smaller brush that I like to use and I'm just tapping that around the page to um, just give it a little something extra. And that's it. Here's a finished look at my entry, my last Revival Camp entry for 2018. It's been so fun. It's been so amazing to see how God is working in each one of our hearts as we camp out together in His Word. If you guys are interested in checking out the kit that I used for this entry, it is linked in the video description below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.